Ag Week weather is sponsored by Bremer Bank. Connect with a banker today at bremer.com. What type of weather does the month of April have in store for the region? Here's John with our AgriWeather Outlook. Spring temperatures appear to be rebounding a little bit, especially across the northern plains, which was delivered a little shot of a rare cold air and snow this past week. It looks like we'll be seeing some recovery this week along those lines. And with the uh, uh, more typical April pattern will come April showers and storms. We'll take a look at where those are likely to be. And you can't rule out those big wet snow systems, which uh, I think we still may see some of that around some parts of the country. For this week, cold weather starts out into the northern plains, relatively cold, but the Arctic air is definitely in retreat and the cold air will be backing up as well. We're starting to see a push of ridging air coming out of the polar jet stream, which over the course of this week is likely to spread much warmer weather across the Great Plains and bring a lot of uh, mild weather and even some warm temperatures to the Great Plains area. Still some lingering cold air in the Great Lakes states, the center of that coming down into New England, Curtis see of a little nor'easter storm which will likely bring some snow mostly to New England and some parts of Quebec and eastern Canada. Most of the eastern United States, much of the Corn Belt, will be fairly warm this week. Although it does look like there'll be a little bit of cooling toward the end of the week into the northern plains, nothing terribly cold. That cold weather will spin out from the Rockies sometime over the weekend, but it is not expected to linger as another ridge builds up. That will be following a trough that's moving across the country. The long and short of it is... Over most of the central and eastern United States over the next two weeks, basically the first two weeks of April, it does appear that temperatures in general will be near average over the eastern United States and generally warmer than average over the Great Plains. The Rockies will show some signs of warming up as well. So definitely a change in the overall temperature pattern. Now, there will be several storm systems coming out of this, and as always in the the spring months, just like in the fall, long-range forecasting becomes extremely difficult because of the dramatic changes that we see in jet stream patterns. But I do look for one, maybe two weather systems to work up through the eastern Midwest, bringing mostly rain. There will probably be a chance for some wet snow across the northern parts of the upper Midwest, but I think most of that will likely stay south of the northern plains. And there will be some snow in New England and some snow in the mountains out west. The second week, now we're talking the first full week, really almost like the second week of April. With warmer temperatures over the Great Plains, this will likely be rain in the Midwest and the eastern part of the Midwest into New England. Some scattered lighter showers in the northern plains and will continue the pattern of mostly stormy weather in the higher elevations of the Rockies in the west. <laughs> 